get ready with me to go for a date night with my husband using a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Technically a date hour while our three young children go to karate session and we go out together for 55 minutes or once a week. <laughs> Either way, I'm going out. So let's put on some makeup. If you saw one of my recent videos, you'll know I was very lucky to be gifted some beautiful makeup in PR from Charlotte Tilbury, who is one of my absolutely favorite makeup brands. I was especially excited about this stuff because not only is it Charlotte Tilbury products that obviously I adore, but a lot of the products had a collaboration with Disney 100. So some of the products feature Tinkerbell on the packaging. On the Charlotte Tilbury website, you can see that they've put together looks for a number of the princesses and how their makeup would be imagined. And all the stuff that I received in my PR box were the products to create the look for Cinderella, the timeless dreamer. So I'm gonna start by pinning back my fringe out of my face so that I can see what I am doing. I do not got makeup in my hair. I actually just had my hair cut. So I had a shower a little while ago. We have a hairdresser that comes to the house. It is so, so much easier with young children than going to a salon. When I got out, of the shower earlier. I did moisturize with some magic cream. I am going to put on a bit more magic cream right now because this stuff makes the best primer for makeup. So I'm gonna use just about that much magic cream. Conversation with my hairdresser. She's wondering, should I try growing out my fringe? What do you think guys? Answers in the comments. Should I grow out my fringe? Shout out down below if you've been here long enough to see my fringe grow through all the way out. No fringe, back to a fringe, back over and over and over. What should I do? So that is Charlotte's Magic Cream with Tink on the packaging. I'm so obsessed with this packaging. But the best thing about it is that's actually refillable. So you can pop out the insert and get a new insert, which is obviously more affordable than the jar. And even when this limited edition jar is no longer available, then you can still have a little bit of Disney magic on your dresser. Okay, so that is me primed with a bit of magic cream. I've got really dry skin and I feel like this is just so beautiful and makes my skin so smooth and not kind of leathery and gross as it feels without it. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of the Wonder Glow. I'd really like to try some of the Hollywood Flawless Filter, which is a little bit of an internet sensation. I don't have any of that. I only have dupes of that, but I have never had a full bottle of the real one. I would love to try that out and see if it really is as amazing as the internet claims. But for now, a little bit of glow. We're gonna be adding so much more glow, so it's fine. Okay, so that is a little bit of glow to the cheeks. Now we're gonna go in with the Beautiful Skin Foundation and I wear the shade 3 Neutral. They will help you pick this out on their website. They have got online consultations and things if you're not quite sure which shade you need. But they always say to shade up. Shade up, is that the right way to put it? It's not size up, is it? Go up a shade when you're using the Beautiful Skin Concealer if you want it to kind of match. So I've actually got a four fair in the Beautiful Skin Concealer to match with the three neutral in the foundation. I'm not sure why that is, but I know that it is uh, because if you go for the same shade, then in fact, you've got a very brightening concealer. We're gonna do foundation first. Let me know in the comments, are you a foundation first kind of girl or a concealer first kind of girl? I am normally foundation first unless I'm doing um, lots of eye stuff that might have a lot of fallout and then I feel like I need to do um, the base afterwards so I can tidy up around my eyes but I don't know I think we're gonna be okay with this stuff I don't find that the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are bad for fallout at all okay so that's using a Charlotte Tilbury I want to say a complexion brush it's not a Hollywood complexion brush. And I'm just gonna pat that in with a damp beauty blender just to kind of get all that into my skin. Do you know what, I'm gonna need an actual mirror rather than just using my camera as a mirror. Aha, there we go. You actually see what I'm doing now. In with the concealer, just a little dab, dab, dab here. And all the Charlotte Tilbury videos, they put it here and here. It used to be big triangles, didn't it, all down your face. To be honest, when I'm out and about, if I've just got, like, I have a little uh, makeup bag that if I'm out and about or traveling, I just have that with me. 
and then I don't have a full foundation in my bag. I just have a beautiful skin concealer. And to be honest, I just use it as foundation if I'm ever really stuck. And this is a very old MAC brush. This is a, a MAC 270S, which looks like it has seen better days and could probably do with a clean, if I'm honest. So that's not great, is it? So the thing with all the Charlotte Tilbury makeup is it's very kind of dewy, glowy, which I think I like because it just feels very pretty. It feels like sun-kissed, which is kind of how I was as a teen, a little more sun-kissed than I am now. I'm all about the SPF now. Normally, by the way, I would put on an SPF under my makeup, but we're literally just going somewhere indoors. We're not really gonna be outside. So I haven't bothered. Normally, like if this was just daytime makeup or any outdoors at all, then I would be slathering on the SPF. I'm just gonna pat a bit of that in. There we go, blot all that out. Now for some beauty light ones. So the ones I was using as kind of my, my go-tos before um, I was sent the Disney 100 collection were the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand as a highlighter and the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Light Wand as a liquid blush. So that would, that's that been my normal day today. But then I was sent these, which are absolutely stunning. And you will have seen in that unboxing video that I was very giddy excited about. The gold, the pink, which is the same as the old pink gasm from the standard Charlotte Tilbury collection and the spotlight. So the spotlight is a highlighter. The pink is a liquid glow lighter, blush lighter. It's like somewhere between a highlighter and a blush in that it's a blush, but it's also very glowy, and then the gold. So I think I decided the pink and the spotlight were kind of my colors. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the dot, dot, da, the dot, dot blend, the dab, dab blend, is that what Charlotte calls it? It's really important to, when you're using these to close, you kind of twist to open, give it a tiny little squeeze, like that's all you need, and then close it again. And then you dab it on and then you blend it in. So we're just gonna do some, I think we'll do three dots. We'll do three dots, let's go for it. And then blend, 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 blend. Very, very glowy, which is what we want, obviously. We want to look glowy. And certainly since this is supposed to be Cinderella timeless dreamer makeup, then glowy is the way forward, isn't it? You think of Cinderella, you think of glowy. So I, this video was supposed to be filmed actually a few days ago. It was supposed to be, I was supposed to be going out with two friends, um, but one of them, their babysitter let them down, which isn't that just the story of your life when you're a mum? We're supposed to do something and then, so that's been postponed, we're like, we're gonna do it again, but that's been postponed for a month basically. But let me know in the comments if you are a mum and the story of your life is, oh, we should really meet up. Or when can we fetch each other in? Well, I can't do next Tuesday because that's Jimmy's dance recital. And I can't do next, and then you it turns out that the next time you can all get together is in about three months time when you've next got a slot. It's madness but that's mum life. So now for the spotlight, which we're gonna dab, dab, blend, dot, dot, blend, above the, oh, hang on, have I just put gold on? I've just put the gold. <laughs> okay, we're using gold. I was gonna use spotlight. Whoops, I picked up the wrong one. Never mind. Let's at least make it symmetrical. Oh, I don't know, it's quite nice, actually. Can you see that? It's nice, anyway, I still like it. I just think, <laughs> just worry it might be a bit dark for me. Never mind. Okay, we're going with it, we're going with it. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna blend this in because um, symmetry and then perhaps we'll put some of the spotlight over the top. Let's go all out. I mean, why use one beauty light wand when you could use three? There we go. Glowy, 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 glowy. Now for the spotlight that I thought I was using in the first place. Let me just show you. Oh my goodness, I just did the gold again. What is the matter with me? <laughs> Seriously, somebody stop me. Spotlight is more bronze. There we go. This is why I'm confused. The packaging, well, it's not that similar, but I'm clearly getting myself very confused. Okay, we've we've gone extra ridiculously glowy now because I kept picking up the wrong one. Okay, put down the gold, Ree. Pick up the spotlight. I'm going to be so glowy. I'm going to look like the surface of the sun by the time this is finished, just because I've um I've not been paying attention. This is what happens when you talk and not pay attention. Right, this is spotlight. Is this spotlight now? Yes, this is spotlight. As you can see, that is much paler. Ah, right. I've put far too much on. Okay, far too much. That we'll actually do another few goes without squelching anything else out. So I'm gonna close that now. Oh my goodness, there's far too much on there. That's what I'll do is I'll dab this in with the beauty blender. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's better, we'll, we'll do that. We'll use the beauty blender. If you've gone a bit mad, the beauty blender will kind of absorb some of it. So this is very much like um, a very all out kind of 
makeup. So let me know if you want me to do like a day-to-day -day slightly less glam because I think this is going to end up looking quite glam uh, makeup or if you're here from my Disney channel, hi! Let me know if you want me to do like a day-to-day a -day Disney parks, Disney trip makeup, something that stays put all day because of heat, especially if you're into Florida. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna powder down some of the center. I know sometimes in Charlotte's videos they put um, Beauty Light Wand, dot it down around the Cupid's bow, they dot it around the um, center of the face, but we're not gonna do that now because I'm very glowy on the edge. So let's at least map down the middle. So the lip combination I was sent in this box is something I would never think to put together. Both products I had before, but I would never have paired them. So do you know what? If it's good enough for Cinderella, it's good enough for me. We're gonna give it a go. But before lips, I think we need to finish off my eyes. Let's get on with some mascara. Oh, do you know what? I'll tell you what else I'm gonna use. It's something I never use. I've, I'm probably a bit guilty of this, totally neglecting my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna stick some of this, which is the brow fix through my brows to, I don't know, keep them in place or something. I'm I'm useless with doing my eyebrows. I forget to pluck them, I forget to deal with them, I forget to run anything through them. But I guess they're mostly hidden behind my friend, so it doesn't really matter. Now the mascara in the box was the Pillow Talk mascara, but I'm trying to be really good with rotating makeup and using one mascara for as long as it says to on the packaging, which in this case is six months. And I'm trying to, especially with mascara, be really good at the end of the six months, throwing it out and getting a new one. I used to have a drawer full of skanky old mascaras, not even lying about this. And then I watched a YouTube video about uh, a big YouTuber getting an eye infection and then realizing how much old makeup she had and that she was probably giving herself an eye infection and it totally grossed me out. So I will open the Pillow Talk mascara and I will absolutely love using it. But um, for now, I'm gonna use the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. But first, before mascara, do you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna do a bit of shadow. Now, I've gotta say, these Beauty Light ones, I tend to use every day. Specifically these two, the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand and the Pillow Talk highlighter. I use those almost every day. I very rarely wear eyeshadow on the day to day, but I was sent this stunning quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Uptown Girl quad. So we're going to give this a go. The other thing I very rarely wear on my eyes is eyeliner, but I was sent this classic brown pencil. So do you know what? Let's go for it. Let's, let's just go for it. So we need some brushes. The idea is you use this one to prime and then this one to sculpt, this one to smoke and then this one to pop. Charlotte says that's what we're to do, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna use this shade to prime my lid. This has got a lovely big mirror in it. So that's quite subtle actually. There you go, so that's just dusted all over my lid. Got a little bit of a sheen, um, but other than that, it's quite subtle. I mean, compared to <laughs> my cheeks, which are very sheeny, I guess it's quite subtle. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Sculpt, which is this little, oh, it looks quite dark. Okay, I'm gonna brush most of it off the brush and just kind of go in a little bit in the corner. This is not a shade I would normally choose, so I wonder how this will turn out. Just gonna go back and forth and back and forth like a rainbow. Yeah, I never normally pick this color. It's kind of a um, bluey gray color. Perhaps like I would normally associate this with someone with more blue eyes than me, but I don't know, maybe it will work out. So that's just created a little bit of depth in the socket. And then I think what you're supposed to do is use a much smaller brush. These are Real Techniques brushes, by the way, that I am using. And then we're just gonna put a tiny bit in the corner to smoke that out. Just a tiny bit in that kind of V in the corner. I think that needs a bit more blending. If in doubt, blend a bit more. 
Now my favourite shades with all of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are always the pop shade. And the best way to do that is just take your finger. They always say to use your ring finger, don't they, with your eyes because you can't physically, oh my goodness, look at that, it's so sheeny. And then you just can't physically put too much pressure on. So they say to use your ring finger and uh, when you put an eye cream on as well, <sighs> look at sheeny. That is very sparkly gorgeous. What do you think of that? Now, I could have gone a lot darker, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it lighter and just go all in with the lashes. What do you think of that so far? Not the colors I'd normally have chosen for myself, but I think I like it. So now we're gonna go in with the pencil. I always like to give any pencil a good old sharpen before I use it to make sure it's actually pointy and not totally blunt. And we're just gonna go in the waterline. Can anyone do eyeliner without making really stupid faces? I know I can't. Yeah, so this video was supposed to be filmed as um, a getting ready for a girls' night out, and now it's just um, a night out with my husband, but that is also very nice. Let me know in the comments, do you, if you're a parent, manage to make time to date your partner? Because it's something that's so hard to do. Almost as hard as doing eyeliner while talking. But life can just so easily get in the way and when you've got children, it's just so hard to find that time, isn't it, to, to actually be a couple. So we get this one hour, and we don't go every week, but sometimes we go for food, not very far away, and just have some grown-up time, and it is nice. Like, we adore our kids, and we take them everywhere, but it is nice to have adult time. I think I'm making a mess of this eyeliner. Ugh, if I'm ever gonna muck up anything, it'll be eyeliner, or poking myself in the eye with mascara. Okay, I don't think I've mucked that up too badly. I wasn't gonna bother doing the top line because that's the one I really struggle to do. But this pencil is quite easy to work with and touch what I don't think I've made too much of a mess. It's a miracle. It's Disney magic. So we are now actually gonna go in mascara now that I have done my eyeshadow. So Legendary Lashes. This is a beautiful mascara, but I kind of feel like it works much better if I blot off some of the wand first so it doesn't go all over the place. Let's give this a go. I'm pretty bad at making doing mascara without making faces, but actually I think my faces are definitely worse with the eyeliner. Now lashes wise, I used to have lash extensions and I loved them because I didn't have to bother with mascara, but they were really high maintenance, just having to go all the time. So I switched back to mascara and using the UK Lash Serum. And I do feel like my lashes have got so much longer. I do actually have LVL every six to eight weeks to curl my eyelashes, but that must have to almost run out because I am due to have LVL again next week. So we can now see, look, with the legendary lashes on one eye versus none. I do love this mascara. Definitely works so much better once you blot some of it off though because when I don't do that, I end up dotting it all over my face. I do a tiny little bit on the bottom lashes too. That's probably the most dramatic eye makeup I have done in a while, but I think I like it. I think I really like it. I feel really glowy and I was a little bit worried about how dark the dark color was, but I think now I've got the rest of it on. I think it kind of works. I think it kind of works. Now for this Cinderella look, on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Like I said, the color combination is something I'd never think to put together. They said to use the iconic nude lip cheat lip pencil together with the Pillow Talk lipstick. And quite frankly, who am I to argue? We're gonna try this as well because Charlotte says it's gonna work, it probably will. So this lip pencil is just, again, make sure it's properly sharpened. Uh, you can use it just with a lip balm. You can fill in your whole lips and it's really, really long lasting. So normally if I was wearing Pillow Talk lipstick, I would wear Pillow Talk lip liner and I would use the iconic nude, which is this one, which is kind of a very 90s brown kind of color. And I would use that with one of the other uh, lipsticks, like my Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a very pale, very, very Kim Kardashian color, lipstick. But how is this going to work with Pillow Talk, which is obviously one of Charlotte Tilbury's classic and beautiful colours. Look what a mess I've made. Compared to the one that I just got sent, this is my one I had in existence. So I'm just trying to use this up before I spoil the new one. Is this going to work, guys? 
actually I really like that. It definitely changes the colour. It meets down the... It's not as pink, but not in a bad way. Mm. Right, so I'm going to blot a little bit. Mm. I love that. So now the gloss that you're supposed to put over the top of this is the Refresh Rose. And I was so chuffed when they sent me this. I've wanted this for ages. I've had this in my basket so many times. The only thing is, if I put this Dofa applicator directly on my lips, am I going to get the darker lip colour in my Pretty Pretty Refresh Rose? So I'm going to put some of this on my hand. I said in the last video, I've got the Pillow Talk version of this gloss. And then because it's a darker colour, I just put it directly on my lips. But I am going to paint this on. It's such a pale colour, it's almost like a clear. It is not clear, it's got, it has got a very pale pink pigment. This is definitely a long-winded way to apply this gloss, but I'm okay, I'm here for it. Yeah, see, I'm adding, <laughs> putting that back on my hand, I am adding uh, a bit of the colour to the brush. It would, would make the applicator on this go a bit funny. So that has taken the matte lipstick into a glossier finish. I do love this, it's kind of min, it's not, minty but it tingles like mint as opposed to tingles like a stingy kind of lip gloss if you follow what I mean. So it feels plumping without feeling very very sore. Now the question is are we done? Are we done? Do we need a little tiny bit more powder perhaps? Sometimes I use this like powder puff thing um, to powder my face. Um, if I failed to mention what I was using to powder my face it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the colour One Fair. And as you can see, I've used this a lot because I've hit pan on it. I think this is the second one I've gone through actually. And until I discovered this powder, I hated powder. I thought my skin was too dry for powder. Every time I wore powder, it went cakey and disgusting until I discovered this and now I wear it every day. I think the only thing we need to do now is set the makeup with some setting spray. This stuff is great. It, if you spray it on your face, it really stops your makeup from budging. I don't like to over apply it in case my makeup kind of separates. I don't want my face to be soggy or wet. So it's just a case of holding it far enough back to try and get a little bit. Okay, that's cool. The other thing you can do is you can apply some onto a, maybe this is a better way to do it actually. Like set it on here like this with a bit of powder. Maybe I'll re-powder with a bit of setting spray. Will that work? Is that better? By the way, my husband and children are currently home, so if you can hear all sorts of noises throughout this video, that is why. Hopefully they're all getting ready for karate, and then when I finish filming this, Daddy Four and I can get ready to go for our speed date, married style. Okay, let's take the fringe down and see how we did. So this is the finished look. This is the Timeless Dreamer, the Cinderella inspired makeup from the Charlotte Tilbury website. What do we think? Am I glowy? Yes. Did I put too much glow on? Is there ever too much glow? But I've got to say, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I would never normally choose this eye palette. And I'm so glad it was sent to me because I actually really like it. I just never would have picked it for my colouring. But actually, I mean, putting it next to me, it does... I think it kind of works. I think perhaps I was imagining going a bit harder on the dark colours and that not working as well, but yeah, all in all, that has been a really pleasant surprise. I think I managed not to make too much of a mess of my eyeliner, so that's a miracle. Yay for that. Didn't have to clean up too much of the cotton bud like I normally have to. And this lip combination that I never would have thought of putting together, I think works really, really well. I have thoroughly enjoyed chatting to you guys while I have been getting ready. Thank you so much for keeping me company while I get ready. And obviously thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury, who clearly personally sent me all these goodies in PR. Thank you so much, darling. If you enjoy videos like this, then please do let me know in the comments so I can make more of them. I'm now gonna go and get dressed for my day tonight hour. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those YouTube -y things. There is another video on screen that you may enjoy. There is a link to my Patreon where you can get early release content, a link to my planner store where you can shop my planners. So thanks so much for watching again. Bye.